Hi, I'm Erica Henningsen. I'm so excited to be here at Playbill and to give you a sneak peek of the brand new original musical, Joy. Joy is about family. At the root of the show, it's about family. Obviously, there's the story of Joy Mangano, who created the Miracle Mop, and that led to an incredible success for her own personal business life. But at the root of the show, it's about a mother who's trying to make things just a little bit better for her family and hold everything together and keep all the plates spinning. And in the midst of trying to do that, she discovers a part of herself that she had silenced a long time ago, which is the creator, the inventor, and over the course of Joy's life and Joy the musical, we get to watch her rediscover that and we realize that her enabling that part of herself to come out and allowing that and nurturing that is actually what changes her family. Not by being the perfect mom who silences it and um, is only there to fulfill the needs of her family, but also by listening to her own inner voice and inner artist and following that path. And she creates an example for her daughter and that's sort of where the show takes off from. What's been so interesting, and, and Joy has a book, and I remember reading it as we started rehearsals for this process. She has this whole philosophy that you don't have to be Steve Jobs to change somebody's life. You don't have to be the name on the front page of the newspaper to have impact. Whether you are a mom, whether you are an inventor, whether you are a writer, her thought is that tiny things in the world can make a difference. I personally love getting to tell this story because I think something happens when we give ourselves the responsibility of becoming an adult, where we lose that inner artist and that inner child and the person who's curious and wants to create and wants to find solutions to things. And getting to meet Joy in real life, I saw somebody who was able to live in both worlds at once, was able to find that inner spark within her and then uses that to inform how she leads as a mother, as a businesswoman, as an executive, as just a woman operating in the world at a level that is pretty remarkable for somebody who came from such humble beginnings. It's crazy because she is not just alive, she's around, she's like a train right away. Um, and what's been really great is getting to feel the freedom to bring the story to life in a musical way and feel the freedom to get to bring the story to life in a way that pays homage to Joy and what she invented both with her inventions at QVC but also what she created with her family and then to veer into more musical theater territory so we can bump up those moments that will make an audience lean forward who maybe know the story or who saw the movie, but getting to tell it in a musical, different theatrical way. I, I think what I hope people walk away from this, specifically women, is that having an idea is not something to um, like hide under a bushel. <laughs> um, I think it's so easy for anybody really, but I think particularly women to feel this curiosity about something that they could do, something they could make, something they could give to the world, and then feel silenced either by themselves, by their family, by the system, to not take that next step forward in bringing it to life. And so I hope that if anybody watches this, whoever sees this musical, be you a mother, be you a 12 year old girl, um, be you a retiree who has been wanting to put something into the universe, that you see Joy, who is literally just like all of us. She's not, um, she's special because we can all see ourselves in her. I hope it inspires people to take that next step, to not just stop at having the idea and then saying, well, that'll never come to fruition because she's absolute proof that all you have to do is keep putting one foot in front of the other to watch your idea come into the world. And it's, it's really remarkable. I have learned a lot from getting to play her. I've learned a lot from getting to read about her and talk with her because it's just reminded me that you, as long as you keep showing up and believing in what you have to offer, be it big or small, you will see it come into the world at some point. Um, and so I hope people walk away with that faith in themselves the way that Joy has. I'm so excited to share with you this song, a little sneak peek from the musical Joy. This song is called Change Forever. It's an I want song for a woman who has not asked herself what she's wanted in a really long time. And I hope you enjoy it.
the shape of things if I see the shape of things then I could sand the edges of my family and hold us all together with twine make cardboard cutouts I'd have no doubts We'd be fine I'd glue and sprinkle faces smiling If only I could ever see that shape Then I could make us Mold and tape us The parts that are not okay The hearts that can't find their way I paint the sun to home of windows let the sun in to shine home where all our corners perfectly aligned we'd be happy I have to find out how for her see myself reflected in her eyes but what's the shape of happiness will change forever if I could turn distraction into focus I'd be a better mother for my child it's been a hard climb long climb could I make more time can life be fun we're just people that rearrange but something has got to change to get it done put us back together cause we've fallen off the wall a new shape of together we are fragments from the fall we're unspoken we're broken in need of repair tear it all down or live on fulfilled so Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Playbill, for having me. You can catch Joy at George Street Playhouse starting December 7th. Tickets are on sale right now. I hope I can see you there. Bye.